is covid-19 really the end of dentistry i don't think so but i'm pretty sure there is going to be a massive difference between the pre and post covid era in dentistry with a group of related rna viruses covid-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome it was first identified in wuhan china in december Dentistry ranked the third most affected occupation as it involves face-to-face -face communication with the patient and frequent exposure to saliva, blood, aerosols. First basic thing would be an on-call brief case history regarding the dental problem and history of travel or any symptoms such as fever cold cough sore throat or breathlessness in the past 14 days and if the patient has recently participated in any gatherings or meetings patient enters the reception area make sure you provide the patient with sanitizers mouth masks food covers and head cap thermal screening of the patient as well as the person who's accompanying the patient should be done in just the reception area make sure the patient doesn't keep walking around the room minimize the use of comics or uh, magazines or any newspapers in the reception area try to make sure that the patient reads the consent and signs it physical distancing should be maintained Cash cashless transactions will be appreciated the lesser number of people accompanying the patient the better it would be for the at a clinic different components it has an overall a mask or respirator with head and neck straps goggles uh, a face mask and gloves the most basic thing that we need to adapt to during this covid time is donning and doffing of ppe before you start treating the patient make sure you ask the patient to rinse his mouth with 10 ml of 0.2% solution of powder and iron try chemo mechanical removal of caries rather than generating aerosols Use of rubber dam and high vacuum suction would be great. Make sure fogging is done, which is done with hydrogen peroxide, eleven percent solution, and stabilized by zero point zero one percent of silver nitrate. Almost eighty percent cases of COVID are asymptomatic, so a pulse oximeter in your dental clinic could help you detect silent hypoxia, which is a pre-symptom for COVID pneumonia. have heard about hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine being used for prevention or treatment of covid-19 but please do not do that because it has shown reduced survival rate and increased frequency of ventricular arrhythmias please i'd like to conclude by saying this is not curfew time but it is time to care for yourself thank you